It was a full day of activity at the Matawa Learning Centre on Algoma Street as Premier Ford, Minister Greg Rickford, and MPP Kevin Holland stopped by to salute the students. Here's the story. This is James with Net News I was, Ledger. Uh, uh, entertaining some uh, uh, some guests uh, on the river one time, and uh, he had uh, been caught, uh, not caught, but rather uh, a photographer had uh, snapped a few pictures of him uh, 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 shooting a, a whitewater rapid, and uh, with his uh, with his new 25 horse and uh, 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 land aluminum boat, and. Uh, so he, he did that successfully, and then uh, you know, he had seen it later in the picture, and he had said, "How am I going to argue with, uh, with, uh, with that I'm against mining? You know, because uh, here I am uh, using all the technology of the modern world uh, with the uh, with the motor in the boat, and and, uh, and and enjoying it. You know, so I guess you know his uh, his lesson that day was that you know." First Nations people are live in the modern world, and uh, we adapted to all the new technologies of the modern world, while at the same time keeping our culture and our languages. You know that's important for us. You know keep to keep those alive and and, and move forward because because uh, that's how that's what we have to do. So you know that story I tell because uh, you know it's important that you know uh, it it shows that uh, today in today's day and age, you know. We as uh, Anishinaabeg people uh, embrace that technology, whether it's uh, the cell phones that we use today or, or all the, uh, the vehicles or, or, or outboard motors or, or, or whatever. It's important that we use that and we use that in our culture and our lifestyle. And, uh, you know, and we have to be part of the mainstream economy, the mainstream uh, way of life. And, and I think that's what today's uh, announcement is, is on. It's, it's about our youth, our First Nations youth, uh, uh, our members being involved in, in, in the training that's going to be provided to, uh, to grow our First Nation communities. You know, as, uh, as David has uh, said, has said today, uh, that, uh, you know, there's, uh, there's, there's social problems, social issues uh, with uh, community development in our communities, uh, a lack of resources, and, and you know, we want to we want to change that, you know, with uh, with how we move forward together as First Nations, and that's 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 so important for us to move forward together as First Nations. You know, and uh, we have to work together. You know, we have to uh, identify you know, what needs to be talked about and and uh, and, and go from there and uh, and agree. So I, uh, you know, in my community, uh, uh, living there all those years, you know, uh, we have a what I what I say a traditional form of government. And uh, that's not really uh, enunciated or, or, or written down, but it's, it's there. So uh, I'm really uh, uh, proud of, of my community um, taking steps to move ahead in, in the things that we do, like our environmental assessments, uh, Northern Road Link, Martin Falls Community Access Road. Those are important steps for us and, and other initiatives that we have uh, ongoing, like the fiber optic, uh, the large fiber optic project that's happening right now and other new developments on the table. So we look forward to uh, moving ahead with uh, new training and new opportunities for our youth, our members. And you know, that's, that's important for us as, as, uh, as leadership of, uh, of our, our communities. And you know, we need to keep on moving that along. So I want to thank uh, David for inviting me and uh, KCATS and uh, the Matua management and staff. So thank you all. Chimigach. Well, first of all, Meglich. And, and thank you for having me here today. And, and uh, David, uh, we're very, very grateful uh, for everything that you do. And KCATS, I, I think it's a great program. Isn't there a saying, you teach a person how to, how to fish and feed them for a day, you teach a person, I'm sorry, feed them a fish for a day and teach them how to fish, feed them for a lifetime. That's what you're doing right here with all the trades. Once you have a trade, uh, no one can take it off you. You'll always be able to go and, and have that trade. And, and what, a, what an incredible uh, program. Chief Bruce and David, you're both out of the box thinkers. Uh, it's just absolutely incredible uh, what you're doing. I always say, you know, uh, as the provincial government, 
uh, we don't create jobs. We, we create the environment for, for people and communities and the First Nations community for other communities to see how, how you prosper. And uh, I'm just very, very grateful for, for our relationship, our relationship with First Nations. And you can't ask for two better champions than Kevin and Greg. Uh, you, you have to hear them at caucus. They're, they're true champions for First Nations communities right across Ontario. They're always uh, standing up uh, for the communities and making sure that we, we support you in any, any way. We just got back from Greenstone, actually, and, and did some great programs, announced I think it was 5.7 or $5.6 million on a, on a training center, uh, very similar to, to here, and uh, some other community benefits that I know Greg will elaborate on. But uh, every, every time I come into a First Nations community, uh, you treat me like gold. And I, I'll tell you, I get, I get uh, as I told, uh, you know, last community I was in, I went into their school and the kids were singing a song. It gives you chills, you know, it, it really does. And uh, I will never take anything for granted. Uh, it always has to be a, a very fair partnership. And uh, again, I'm, I'm very, very grateful. We'll always stand shoulder to shoulder with you. We'll always have your backs. And uh, again, Meg Witch, but I do have to tell you, I gotta buy one of those shirts off you because I love those shirts. I don't want to give them to me, but I, you gotta I could give me some money and send me one of those. I'll proudly wear it everywhere. But uh, again, uh, David, thank you uh, for, for hosting us today. And uh, we're very, very grateful. So thank you, Megwitch. Thank you. Everybody. This is a real honor. Yeah, that's I'm telling you, this, this is going from my Queen's Park office, and any of you that are down there, uh, I always say, uh, my home is your home. Come by any any time at all. Oh, this this is the best. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, beautiful. Hold on. I'm putting that shirt on right now. I think I've had one too many uh, Tim Dor uh, Donuts around this. <laughs> <laughs> going pretty good. Right, you hold up, you hang on a second. I'm going to wear this proudly too. This is beautiful. This is the first hoodie cutter I've ever got from First Nations. Oh, it's going to be beautiful. Wow. Communication Society, and this man really went to bat for us when we needed from help from the federal government. And I want to thank you for that and your continued support. And because of that, uh, we are going to present Mr. Rickford with this. Oh, gosh. Wow, nice. Very nice. Nice. Yeah. Here is kind of represents you know Kate Kent's and the province of Ontario. 